Ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> Let me know if you call. You hear me okay. I Welcome to Bay's house where we change locations temporarily. I have the fan going on in the back. So if you hear a humming noise, that's what that is. It's actually a beautiful day out here at NYC. Unfortunately, where I'm at, there's a lot of something going on outside. And that's okay. They need to do what they need to do. They don't know we need to get into it. And it's ruining the vibe of background noise. <laughs> we just don't need that. So I'll close the window. I'll turn on the fan so my laptop doesn't overheat and just shut down. Because we cannot have that. Okay, I'm actually going to tilt it a little more. That's better. I need, the, I need the air to hit my laptop. So I don't know if you noticed. Well, first of all, hey, hey, friend. If you're just clicking on one of my videos, we are live. Not my usual edited, edited videos. We are going to talk about the new Sonya G Fusion series. A huge shout out to Beautylish and Sonya for sending me these. It's, this is PR. Okay, this this is Pia. I'm going to let you know. So I did not buy these. These were a gift. And I wanted to get into it today because I would not have been able or I thought I would not have been able to film and edit in time of the drop. Uh, Sonia did mention that it drops next week. I don't know when. So if you have a, a date for that... I'll put it down in the description. I don't know if you noticed. Aisha, have a good dentist appointment, friend. Hey, everyone. First of all, I just wanted to say hi to the fam. What's going on? What's going on, Color Me Fab? Keisha, is it Educon? Can you let me know? You helped me so much with my Japanese accent. I want to make sure I'm saying your name right. Amira, Crown Princess, what's up? Abby, Amira. Mm, listen, the minute we got word these were going to be a thing, my heart swelled. And you even said it on one of my videos. You're like, so I'm, you're telling me I could be okay with Born to Run, not by Zendo, and save for the Fusion series. Correct. Hey, Pam, what's going on? What's up? What's up? Hey, Jen. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Randy. Natalie. Yadi. Elizabeth. Woo! All right. So I don't know if you noticed. This is not an official announcement. This is more of a sneak peek of the new Kinky Sweat and Aliens of Brooklyn summer collection. We got, just as promised, we got visors. That you can choose your own word. So I, I decided to wear coils today. We have sweat and we also have texture. We also have the same for the tanks. And we're, I'm waiting for uh, Joseph is creating something ultra, ultra fire for us. Limited edition for this release. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. I wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, Daphne, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Listen, my flannels are stacked to the brim. If I still wear those suckers even during the summertime because I just need them. So stay tuned for that. I actually cut this crop. So the crop comes down to your, to your hip. And Joseph and I decided, well, he actually decided, which I agree with him, if you wanted it cropped, you can cut it cropped and it'll be a raw edge, which I really like for a summer look. And if you wanted to leave it long, you could leave it long. And they come in, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. Okay. All right. Ooh. 
Hey, Whitney. The countdown on the launch app states three hours, 20. Okay, so I reckon launch date is Tuesday, but Sonia says she thought they were launching Monday. We'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. Whoever hears first, whatever day it is, we'll be ready. We'll be ready. So, ah, I love this thing. It's not like, because I have a visor, which I lost, actually. I haven't found it <laughs> since. That visor is more like an elastic band around the head. This takes on more of like a cap structure. So it's a little more structured than like the Elastivisor. So that that just want to let you know, but it has like a little bit of makeup there. Oops. You got the lining here and it fits really well. So it's not going to slide or move around. And you have the Velcro here in the back to adjust the, the circumference. All right. Whoop, whoop. Let's get into it. I have no makeup on the face. I have a couple of other brushes just for comparison, and I thought it will be appropriate to actually head over to Sonia G's Instagram post. So let's do it here. There it is. <sighs> when she teased that mini base, and if you don't know the mini base, let me take her out because this is from her Kiyaki set. Okay, I will also show this again when we're full frame. This is from her Travel Kiyaki set. And the minute I tried this brush, I was like, Sonia, we need a full size of this because this is by far the best blend of natural and synthetic fiber I have ever tried. And the fact that she came out with a full as set with this blend. Oh my gosh, Jesse. <laughs> You know what? I'm still going to finish it. <sighs> You're right. I have to finish editing that video. I worked really hard on it. I should just finish it. Maybe I'll finish it over the weekend. <laughs> My goodness. So when we found out that Sonia was dedicating her time to creating a whole set of brushes with this blend, full size, different designs, <sighs> And here we have it, the Fusion Series. Okay, we're going to go one by one, fam, one by one. So I'm so happy she has the photographs because I'm like, which one is which? Well, it's also on the brush. So we'll start with the mini base, which is exactly what the mini base is from the Kiyaki set. We have the same brush head size. You see, sorry, you see that it's domed. And we have the, the pro classic handle on the brush design from red to black radiant tapered handle, which I much prefer, excuse me, you hear some, some going on in the back. I am so sorry, which is different from her fundamental brush handle design, wider base, beautiful, but not as practical. I feel for traveling and packing, right? So we have here. The soft, or rather, the mini base, let me start with the mini base, is a bridge type of brush, very versatile. Concealer or foundation, cream blush or sculpting, you may already be familiar with it since it indeed the same as the mini brace, br base, can you read, in the Kiyaki set, but now with a long handle, same as the Pro Series. I cannot wait. Look at... Mm, and these are washed. These are definitely washed. So they are in their full fluff potential. Let me go in. Actually, let me follow the, the order in which her caption is laid out. The soft concealer. Which one is? Oh, ooh, the soft concealer brush. Here it is. Oh, look at that. It's slightly tapered. Well, slightly, slightly. It's still pretty domed. And here is here it is head on, same tapered design. Uh, we're looking at is a baby mini base. Okay, it has a round ferrule and more flexibility in comparison to the jumbo concealer. Well, which one is the jumbo concealer, Sonia? Uh, when I saw this brush, I said that's the one for concealer and funny recently, and I have a lot of beautiful brushes, but I get into a rut since 
if you cycle between washing and not washing for me mostly not washing shame on me i i i feel like i limit my options and i was like you know what i'm missing like a really good conceal let me put it to it up close look look how it's it's like a paddle is pinched so fluffy still it has a little bit of stiffness to it which i like so let's get into the detail shall we again we're looking at the jumbo concealer sonia says it has a flat ferrule but with a lot of thickness and bossy is firmer and delivers a heavier coverage in comparison to the soft concealer so side by side soft concealer as you see a lot smaller round ferrule versus pinched and you can see more of the pinch shape here on the jumbo concealer brush and head on you can detect the difference in size the soft concealer a lot rounder and a lot more movement as sonia described as opposed to the stiffer jumbo concealer brush design which i actually really like i like a little bit of thickness to the brush but nice flow especially since it's under the eyes but i can only imagine given its size you could use it to paint on contour or maybe paint on your favorite uh, liquid or cream blush or dare i say dare i say use it for a little bit of a cream eyeshadow moment just strike it across the lid also i think an appropriate task for soft concealer what do we have next we already went over mini base amazing the classic base. That's the mini. This. This right here. Look at this gorgeous. Just. Oh, look at that fluff. Look at the softness. Okay. Let's have a read. The classic base is mini bases. Big sister. Hey. With the same type of brush same type of brush with a ferrule that is not curved towards the top uh-huh this is going to allow more movement in the brush in the bristles and make it super versatile we will get into the demo fan but look at that flow incredibly soft dome shaped and compared to the mini base the mini base is smaller as you see i think you could get your foundation on a lot faster with the classic base but depending on you know how you like to apply your makeup will determine that i'm coming back to the comments here i want to make sure i'm not missing anything okay all right and then we'll go over pricing in a minute <laughs> right now we're just indulging in, in you know the actual brush okay the jumbo base this was the one i was most excited for right right here okay jumbo base look you know what this reminds me of and i'm going to pull out in a minute the koyudo fupa brush this is it head on just look at that darkness my gosh that is it's so incredibly soft let's have a read the jumbo base is the biggest of the series it has a slanted shape to blend as it moves offering a super quick application of foundation Here's a fupa. I had I had to bring it along to Bay's house just so you can see the two. Now they both have the pinched shape, but you see that Sonia's jumbo base is a little smaller, not as thick. But I think because of that, it has a little more movement and flow, which I appreciate from a brush design that's designed for or created rather for foundation application. You could just get it. The, hello the no the horn honking you could just get it moving and grooving on your face and ugh, the glide fam the glide okay these brushes have medium high density but with flexibility they will diffuse the products evenly without having to put stress on the skin no good that's why i love this material so much it has such a generous grip at the surface and the movement of the bristles ensure that the pores and texture are taken into account all right pricing Okay, these fusion brushes will launch next week. We don't know Monday or Tuesday as a set and as individuals, they will range from $30 to 68 and the set is $225. All right, 
Thank you so much, Sonia G. Let's get back to it. If this is your first time tuning in to any oh, one of my videos, I have plenty of videos dissecting Japanese made brushes and I often cover the reason for the price. It is because these are hand crafted brushes. The bristles you see here, they are uncut. They are bundled by hand, meaning in order to get this specific shape, hey nails, this specific shape, you have to hand bundle them in a manner that will yield that shape. Not by relying on cutting the brush once the bristles have been bundled to get it. No, you have to rely on your own maneuvering to get the shape required for whatever brush you're looking to create. The craftsmanship, the caliber required for that type of work is unlike any, I, I can't even imagine, okay? This, they're all made in Kumano, Japan, and in that city, they are known for the brush making, and brush making is, I believe, uh, a genera family generation thing, so you keep it going, you keep it going, right? It is incredibly detailed, and that's what you're paying for. You're also paying for the handles, the paint, and the gradient design on the handles. Very expensive to make, and they're going to last you forever. If you take care of them, if you wash them once a month, especially now, I, I definitely would wash them once a month as opposed to a powder brush that you can maybe get away a little bit more than a month, especially if you don't use it often. But if you'll use these with a lot of cream and liquid products, I would recommend that you do once a month. Hey, Dawn, what's up? Ultraviolet, that's a great question. We can definitely see when we go into the demo, which we'll, we'll go in soon, and find that out. Also, don't feel like you have to buy the whole set. This is why I wanted to do the live. We'll figure out, okay, one brush can do all these tasks. These are the tasks that I'm looking to uh, cover anyway, so I don't necessarily need the whole set. I totally get it. And that's why I wanted to come on here, try as many products as possible using the Fusion Series so we could just make a, a sound buying decision, which also includes passing on them. Look, if you already are good with what you got, you love Sonia, but you can't really get into it right now. That's fine, too. It's really just so I could go live and say hi to you guys. <laughs> and try these brushes. How dare I try these brushes without the fam coming in on the fun, okay? So let's get into it. Bare face. I'm going to zoom you in. That's better. <laughs> we got, uh, I actually have the Sensibio Ultra Light Cream on. But I thought maybe we can apply what has been my go-to cocktail, the Glowish by Huda Beauty and the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. Fenty Beauty is ten. The I didn't I, I hello words I didn't realize this also came in medium dark. Hey Jill, because some depending on the Sephora you visit when they have. Oh, oh my gosh, the display out in the front. Sometimes they don't have all the shades. Thank you, Anita, for bringing this up. They are a mixture of natural PBT and I forgot the other fiber. It's a really great mixture. Ideal because now with the natural hair, natural hair naturally... <laughs> Good job, Alicia. Absorbs more product than a synthetic brush would because it has the pores on the brush. It's a, it's a real piece of hair, right? Whereas synthetic is not going to absorb as much product, which is an ideal mixture, I think, if you want to get the product on, but not too much. Yes, they, are, they will be sold individually, the caption said, in addition to as a set. I wanted to come back to something I read here. Hey, Jill. Hi, Cooper. We will see. We're going to take a look, yeah? We will see. And, Dom, we don't have a release date yet, but we're, uh, Whitney has said either Monday or Tuesday. So hopefully over the weekend 
we'll get we'll get the answer okay what was i saying so there is a medium dark shade but the sephora i visited didn't have that shade it went from medium to tan light so i got the tan light which is fine i just mix in a little bit of the fenty beauty eavesdrop which now by itself a little too light for me so i think both together make a great pair so that's the fenty and this is the huda all right Ooh, which one should we use first? So many options. I want to put a little bit on first. All right. Let me get my Sonya G towel. Which is dirty. It's dirty. I got to wash this. Okay. Should we do the jumbo face first? I think so. Oh my gosh, Bodhi, hi, I want to be there. Okay, I love dogs. All right, stop, just stop. Get out of here. Not too bad, it didn't absorb too much. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm, Martha, great question. Let's read. If I were to use these brushes every day with liquid, how often I need to wash them? I would recommend you still, you know what? I say once a month, Sonia might say something different. And I, I would think she would mention that on her blog, sweetmakeuptemptations.com. Otherwise, in between, with a clean towel, of course, I would wipe between uses just to get the excess product off between applications. I now use uh, Super Aqua. Do I have it here? Let me get it for you. This is what I use now. I I don't know if it's working. I don't know. I think it is. I'm just putting my faith into it. <laughs> All right. So uh, Jumbo Base is completely and utterly flawless. Let me get my chin. This is one of the softest foundation brushes I have ever used. Let me see here. My food pot is soft, but because it's more densely packed, it doesn't have the same amount of flow. Look how it just moves. You could also punch in. You can buff. And because it's slightly it's slanted, it's not going to feel prickly like the base one. Now, this was not a favorite amongst many, including myself, because I don't generally do well with this type of a blend. This is stippled, stippled. To put the name, a natural and synthetic jumbo base, hands down, a lot better feeling. I'm only assuming since Sonia just gave us a range from 30 to 68 that this might be the $68 one, only because based on the fact that it's the biggest brush and the uh, highest price on the on the spectrum she provided, that's only an assumption. However. We haven't done this side, and I now want to try Classic Base. Rounder compared to Jumbo. Jumbo is pinched. Classic is round. I feel inclined to do this. As opposed to this. You know what I mean? I feel the... Um, Jump, I'm going to use my left hand, which just because of my mic, that is so soft. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Now here's what I'll say. If you need, I feel this, this one is great for your foundation 
as well as any contouring you wish to use. Because look how it will fit beautifully into the hollows of your cheeks. If you're looking to just purchase one brush, and I'm going head on the skin fam. Look at this. Does not feel stabby, prickly, rough. The way just go Cannot take this anymore. Oh. I believe so, Maria. I think that's a great way to describe the two tasks. If I feel people have different tendencies in terms of application, right? Many love to go in like this with foundation. Others like to do this. Like Lisa Eldridge. Lisa Eldridge, I like, I feel from all the videos I've seen, she likes to go circular with her foundation application. I feel that's a fair uh, 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 observation. Mmm. Mmm. Now, however, let's take a look at these concealers, okay? I got Mama Pat's on standby. We have a lot of makeup to get through, fam, just so you know. Yes, Kat, I think Fupa gets a little stabby. I agree. If like this. Like this, you can definitely avoid. However, whether you go in, you go head on or down, don't, no stabs. No, st no stabbing. No stabbing. All right. We're going to go in, I think, appropriate for us to now try the mini base. Or no, what am I saying? We can, ooh, this is this is hard. I actually have used the mini base from the original Kiyaki set for my concealer and foundation needs just to edit down what I bring when whether it's to Bay's house or to Maddie's house. I've also used this for my concealer application. So I I easily can use this for concealer. However, I think we should do one side with the jumbo concealer and the other side with the soft concealer. This is jumbo concealer. Oh my heavens. I love. Look at that. It gets just precisely here, right in under the inner corner of the eye. You could swoop it around around the tear duct, get it around the nose. This is an ideal shape to do so. Done. Done. Let's do soft concealer. I think this might be an appropriate shape for not as much concealer, right? If you're one to go light with the application, That's gorgeous. I think this is ideal if you're a light concealer user. Yeah? Excuse my, excuse my nose punch. I need a mirror. <laughs> there we go. Like, this is so incredibly soft under the lash line. Does not feel stabby whatsoever. If you have a sensitive lash line, whether it be the soft concealer or the jumbo concealer, no stabbing, no stabbing. Now the jumbo concealer is significantly thicker than the swuffed one. So I would say if again, light, light concealer wearer, you don't need a lot of product under the eyes, soft concealer, you want a little more product. This is not going to absorb as much because simply it's just not as flowy joey as soft concealer, then get the jumbo blender. I'm sorry, jumbo concealer. <laughs> Jumbo blender. Oh, cat, it feels like heaven. It's so plush. So plush. But I really like soft concealer too because I like to sometimes paint on my concealer and just have that really feathery light application technique. And I and I feel because I'm relying on that technique, I don't need as much product. And with that said, 
just to apply a little more here on the inner part of the eye. See how I could successfully feather the product with the soft concealer and it gets it done in a jiffy. It has really nice flow. It does not move the skin at all. <laughs> not necessarily, Amber. We can decide on just one brush. One brush. Plush is the word of the day. Whitney, absolutely, you can use the concealer brush, blush to bleh, bl brush bleh, to apply eyeshadow. Most definitely. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Even if it's a little thicker than your traditional eyeshadow brush, you can definitely use it for cream. Eva, I do... Eva, excuse me. The jumbo concealer is going to leave behind a little more product than the soft concealer. I think that's the primary difference in terms of application. With that said, we got a lot of makeup to get through, fam. When it comes to powder, in regards to under eye powder, I still would rely on a more traditional powder brush, for instance, I've been using the heck of my Wayne Goss Original Artist Series brush in medium to apply my Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. I have it in yellow. I just, I love to use a soft pointed, excuse me, brush for under eye setting. Hey, Elvira, what's up? <laughs> Kella. <laughs> When it comes to Sonia G brushes, friend, I get it. Ashley, that's a great question. If I had to pick one for foundation and concealer right now, ooh, I actually, I really like the soft concealer for concealer. I love the jumbo concealer too. I have to, I have to use them more, but. I just, I love applying concealer in this manner. You could also do so with the jumbo. Absolutely. All right. But we also need to figure out if we can possibly use these brushes with a powder bronzer, maybe. For sure, the cream contour bronzer. So let's set that up. All right. We got our powder on. All right, I bought the, the makeup by Mario. So we got the, uh, the soft sculpt contour stick. Soft sculpt shaping stick. I purchased medium dark. I rarely use this, although I appreciate it's detachable so you can wash it. But now when we got Sonya G Fusion series on hand, we don't need to use that stubby stubby brush. Hello, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, did I? No, I didn't do this right. Okay. Make sure it's lodged in there. Good. All right. There are two ways I usually go in with this. I could, I all go in with that. I do that. Or I strike the brush against the stick to get product. Or you can rub it on the back of your hand. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to rub it on the back of my hand and pick it up from there. I think we can. Ooh, well, mm, we could do classic base, mini base, and jumbo base. I kind of want to do jumbo base first. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Nika. Let me get my mirror. Hold on to your love. Hold on. There it is. I got the Defy Rose Highlighter Mirror. Listen, if, if you want one brush for foundation and all your other cream product moments, Jumbo Base is going gonna, is gonna to do it. Absolutely. 
However, however, I think also an appropriate task for classic bass. So I'm going to take a little bit from the back of my hand. Which side? I didn't do this side. I'm actually going to like do that. <laughs> it was very hard to get those words out. What is wrong with me? Punching in. Well, that was freaking easy. Although, although, we could also use mini bass. If we wanted to get a little more product. Now, mini bass is going to be a little more precise here, as you see with the smaller brush head. It'll nudge into the hollows more precisely. Doubt it. There it is. Woo! There it is. Across the forehead. This is just personal preference. I love, I really love using a circular brush with my cream contour or bronzer. That's just personal preference. You can definitely use the jumbo blender or excuse me. I keep saying jumbo blender. You can keep using jumbo base to blend out your cream uh, contour or bronzer with. I, I like a rounder brush for that task. That's just me, which is also appropriate to use for your foundation application. Mm. Ooh, Isela, I, we're waiting with you. These are just so, oh my gosh. All right, so flawless with that blend. We got the cream. Okay, I think now we should go in with our Palja bronzer. I actually have two bronzers from uh, Makeup by Mario. Mario. Let me show them to you. I bought dark and medium dark because dark was the only color. So this is dark. This is medium dark. Dark was the only color in Sephora at the time. I was getting a little bit of the FOMO. So I was just like, just get the dark. It's actually quite light. And if I use a very fluffy brush, I can get away with dark without looking it looking like, oh, uh, Alicia, that's a little, a little too much. But let's see here. Now, whenever you're switching from a cream product to a powder one, it's recommended that you have your, your microfiber towel on hand to wipe the excess product out from the bristles first before you go in with your powder product to avoid any muddying up, yeah? I did not powder my face. So we can, let's see what we can do here. We can use, I'm gonna go in with classic base. I'm just gonna tap once. Let me use, you know, I actually appreciate the fact that the sticker tab overlaps the frame. So it's a lot easier to take off. Small detail, but very helpful. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Now, although this is originally, these brushes are mostly used or designed for cream, this is super smooth across the skin. See how it just glides? So you, you can use this with powder. The, the Makeup by Mario bronzer is actually very nice. It's very silky smooth. So I think because of that, it, it has really nice glide on the skin. Now, would I, th and this is just me, right? I love my Yano series brush, the number two. I, I brought it with me, hold on. I love this for bronzer. And, and my Pat McGrath blushes, as you know. What's going on, Venus November? Excuse me, decline, who's calling me? I love to use this for bronzer, but I wanted to demo a powder application with one of the brushes because if you really wanted to expand the possibility of use, 
especially if you want to get most out of your 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 money all right i get it i would primarily use this with cream and liquid products because i think that's where they shine but if you're in a jam okay you can definitely definitely use this with powdered products depending on the product i think you can experiment with it for sure now what we really want to get into well first i brought the lisa eldridge we got this in solar light i'm gonna see how this does with mm, i don't know liquid highlight this freaking highlighter is rude rude so beautiful we can use well for me i think well actually we can use the jumbo base just to tap please 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 You could use a jumbo. Listen, you don't have to, but you could use a jumbo base. I keep calling this the jumbo blender. I mean, it is, it's a blender. It's a blender, technically. Or jumbo concealer, which I think may be more appropriate for a highlight if you like to keep it right on the cheekbone. Is it Chrissy Lee's birthday? Happy birthday, Chrissy Lee. Thanks for carving out some time to spend with the fam on your day. Monday. Ah, well, you can celebrate the whole weekend. Mm -mm -mm. So I think, you know, I think because it's Chrissy's birthday, Sonia is definitely dropping her collection on, on Monday. That's, why we, that's, what, that's what we're celebrating. So I would prefer jumbo concealer for highlighter application only because the bigger size from the jumbo base is just going to spread the product faster, whereas the smaller brush, I think, is going to keep it under control a little bit better. I think. I'm putting on more. How dare I? <laughs> Alicia, what's going on over there? I just, I have to try, this is an exceptional brush for highlighter. And also you could, look how beautifully it fits under the brow, the brow arch. I like to sweep it in and under from the cheekbone so it could be a really nice cohesive application. Mmm. That's gorgeous. All right, well, mm. because of that, maybe I would choose, well, hold on. One more time, one more time. This is for the demo, okay? This is for the demo. <laughs> You're like, wow, she's putting more on. Yeah, man, we gotta, we gotta see the full potential, the full gamut, soft concealer. Ooh, you could also use soft concealer successfully with your highlighter. It's going to get it on there beautifully as well. It's a smaller brush than jumbo concealer, but look. Hi, Roberta. I'm Pauline. My apologies. I did not say hi to you, friend. What's going on, my love? Please. Please get out of here. This is now my favorite time to do the following. We are now going to get into, hold on, I cover them up. More Lisa Eldridge. I actually also brought the Mario blush stick. Stick. Because in case you were looking to compare the textures, the Mario blush stick is a little stickier. I don't like to use that word, but the consistency is more of like a, a I'm going to just show you. I'm just going to show you. That's not it. 
Hello? Which one is it? Did I even bring it? I thought I brought the stick. Maybe I didn't bring it. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Oh, pudding sauce. I guess I didn't bring it. Okay, well, you know, I wanted to film up the makeup on Mario anyway. I'll do the comparison then. Who knows when that video is going to go up. But I did want to go back in with pink soap because in my original Lisa Eldridge video, I was like, I like pink soap. But because I primarily applied it on bare skin, I didn't see the color as well. But now that we have a little bit of makeup on, it shows up. Yes, thank you. It's tacky. It's a little tacky. It blends nicely, but there's a little tack upon the first. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know why? Because you deserve it. <laughs> we need to be shiny, even if it's 90 degrees. Thank you, Pauline. That's so nice of you to say. Some of them are Maida, like the um, like the Dante's Dream, a little liquidy, although I think that first squeeze needed to get out. So let's see how it behaves today. This is pink soap. It squeezed out a little better today. It's, it's definitely like a moussey texture that, let's see, how, ooh, which brush should we go in with first? I feel this is really nice for a liquid blush. Although this would be equally so. Let's do both. Taking a little bit of pink soap straight on the brush. Oh, great, and we're done. <laughs> My goodness. Please. Please. I want to go now in with Dante's Dream. Dante's Dream is definitely more liquidy, I think. Whereas Pink Soap and some of the others are more moussey. Ah, uh, do I want to... Mm, I want to do Classic Base. This one. Oh, yes. I brought it in a little too close to my nose, but that's fine. I don't know, man. This is hard. I'm just blending down the uh, the edges there. Hey, Kima. Ashley, that's a great question. I don't know. I forgot because Beautylish did send me the base one but I forgot if this is the original or the new updated version I'm just punching this away I got a little too I got a little too crazy mm. I don't know man it depends if you like a more circular brush you can definitely use classic base I actually also brought island glow which I'm going to put on just straight on the face. See, Island Glow has more of like a, a drier, moussey texture. I feel like. Yeah. Dante's Dream is the one that has a little more slick to it. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to. Sorry. I didn't want to. You, Alicia, you know better to put all this blush on from Lisa. You even saw in your own video how this packs a punch. This is the mini base. So it's going to be a little more precise in application. I like applying liquid or cream blush in this manner. I like to punch it on versus uh, swipe it on. I don't know why. Ooh, Brandy. You know what? I love Wayne, but... Mm, the thing is, the thing is, in the Wayne Goss artist edit or the Wayne or the Goss edit, you can use those with powder. 
Whereas the only brush that I think appropriate to use with, well, you, you could technically use all of them with cream or liquid, but the number two is specifically designed with synthetic and natural bristles. And I'll actually put this up against Sonia's classic base. So Sonia's classic base is a little smaller and a little more tightly packed. You can see them head on. Oopsies. Where? Yeah. There we go. You can see how Sonia's is more tightly packed, where Wayne has a little more flow to it. Sonia is a little more tightly packed. Because Wayne doesn't have as many bristles in the brush, it's going to absorb a little more product. Hey, Monique. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Ah. But again, I just, I, I'm just in love with a circular brush to apply my liquid and or cream blush with. I'm just applying a little more concealer here. And I'm going to use my mini base to kind of cut down on the blend of these blushes. Oh, you're so nice. I'll be more than happy to. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. That's a great question. I will have to get back to you on that ultraviolet because, I mean, we have, because Beautylish carries, of course, their own, their Yano series, but they also carry Chikohoro and Koyuro. And oh my gosh. Back to the original question, Wayne versus Sonia. If you are already satisfied with your powder brushes, if you feel like that category is covered, but you really need to need to amp up your cream liquid blush category of things, than Sonia. I think we're doing good, fam. Is that it? Absolutely not. It's not it. Well, you know, you know what? I also brought um Divine Blush. Because this is this is a a sneak peek into the blush jam that I we should still have. Hi, Orica. What's up, my love? Happy you're able to stop by. Because I want to see Flirtatious on... I just want to see it on everything. Oh, I cannot wait. I can't stand it. I love the fact that I can still apply Pat's blush on top of Lisa's liquid blush, but it's not. So you see that the shine, you took away some of the shine, but it still has like a little bit of radiance. Because now we definitely, oh, we could go in with Desert Orchid. I took care of it. Let me know if I, if I didn't catch it fast enough. Hey, Cece. Desert Orchid. Mmm. Wait a minute, I gotta do this side. I brought up a little too much Dante's dream. There it is. Okay. Okay. Just for kicks, though, I want to see how... I really like Mario's highlighter. The highlighter from Mario is great. However... 
Mm, let's do jumbo concealer. It will have to be pinpoint, but you can make it happen. And I think because the formula is so soft and blends like a dream that you don't have to exclusively use a powder brush with this formula. Look how you could just tap it on and it just blends itself. Hmm. Hmm. And why not? We're going to go crazy. We're going crazy, okay? I'm using Classic Base. Yep. <laughs> Just put on everything. Just put on everything. If you want it, we could use jumbo base to kind of like buff it down. Poof. Easy. <sighs> what can I say? I'm overwhelmed with excitement. You know what I also brought? Because I wanted to experience again full potential of these brushes. I brought the Patrick Ta because we do have the cream shadows in here. I also, I also brought Supreme Bronze. Which do you want to see? I just wanted to try the soft concealer with these guys. Hello, these guys. Soft concealer. I don't have any primer on, by the way. I'm going to go in with this guy. I love how you can get the soft concealer, like, quickly into the crease. Well, that was easy. <laughs> My gosh. My gosh. All right, I'm going to try the darker one. This is so smooth across the lids. All right, we're done. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> that was a breeze. Ooh, we're already at the minute mark, fam. Let me hurry up. I'm going to put these back over here. There we go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's now unleash the eyeshadow brushes. All right. I know I already put the cream on, but well, let's see how these do. Taupe, topeless. Toasty. Oh, I don't know. We have baked. We have sun kissed. Let's do toasty. This is what I mean about the sticker tab being flush on the mirror. Whereas, I don't want to mess. I already messed up my nail. Whereas the makeup by Mario's tab. Ah. Had it off the frame. Got it. Finally. Oh. Okay. Let's try this again. We're going in with toasty, which now is going to look a lot toastier. Well, that blended pretty nicely on the cream. Hmm. You know what I want to do? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. 
I just wanted to see what that would do on top of the cream. But I also want to see how these mattes do on their own. <laughs> Shoop! I also should- hold on. Let me quickly put these brows on, because they are horrid, as Courtney would say. Don't be silly, Alicia. Use a mirror. Going with the Charlotte Silberry darling. Brown brow to get the top. Almost there. All right, next one. Oops. Don't hit the mic. This one's always a little funny, but it's all right. Let's start from the top, shall we? I'll slap on some primer. Oh, yes. With the cream contour or the uh, contour bomb, forget it. And all of her color fix shadows. You know what? I might have to get another soft concealer brush just for eyes. Just for eyes. I don't think so, Taryn. I find I actually cleaned my Food Pot O2 yesterday. I used my Beauty Blender Black Soap, the Pro Soap, and I, you know, you just gotta get a good lather on it. I think it'll be, it'll still be pretty easy to clean, actually. We restarted. We restarted. All right. I think we're good now. We've it's set down. Let's go back into it. Toasty. I'm going to have to change my thumbnail to indicate that we also played with Supreme Bronze. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay. Fine. Fine. Ooh, do we? I think we got to go sun kiss. I want to see how sun kiss looks by itself. I feel like topless will look, you know, topy, which is fine. But I want to I wanna see what this is going to do. I know we've seen these shades before, but I was so impressed with Supreme Muse that upon learning Artist Couture was coming out with another eyeshadow palette I was like you know what let's do it all right toasty sun kissed now my Hokuro Sora series brush baked I'm gonna put baked here Baked is a little tighter in the pan. So you're gonna have to do a wiggle wiggle. That's pretty. 
All right. That was, again, you got to to pick up the product, but when it gets on the outer corner, it's pretty smooth. They have been. I'm so, I, I appreciate you bring that up, Ashley. I'm actually using the big mama double decker bag right now, as well as her travel case. And it's so funny. Sonia was so sweet to message me and say, I'm sending you the brushes. Don't buy them <laughs> because I sent her a photograph of when my, I bought all six cases. Okay. I sent her a photograph when they came in the mail. She nearly died. She was like, what is happening? I'm like, I bought them all because I love you, want to support you. And I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I just got them all. She died, died. And that's why she messaged me to say, please don't get these. Because <laughs> I definitely was anyway. I mean, couldn't pass up this launch. Let us see. Uh, You know what? Hmm. I'm going to go in with baked three quarters in get that smoky sun kissed same nice and fluffy fluff John I always try to get that dip out all right a little bit of mahaj on the brow bone. What do we think? All right, that's looking good. Going with a finger, tantalize. I feel on the sun kiss side. Ooh, that has nice shine. Very smooth. Diffuses on its own and melts with the mat beautifully okay on the inner corner though we could go in with soleil soleil using my serrat brush let's pick up some of that gold and place it on the inner part of the eye oh that's shiny and pretty that's pretty that was easy to pick up as well excuse me I'm wrapping it in and down under the eye as well. Huh. Gilded for sure on the lower lash line. Look at that. More of a coppery moment. Using my refer 23 to pick up more Soleil for... A more pronounced application here on the tear duct. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Why not? We can go in with a little bit of shady. Should we? I think we should leave shady for the more cooler moments here. I'll go in with bake to see what it can do on the lash line. I think I'll have to rely on a, a liner for a more impactful moment on the lash line, but mm, okay. This side, though, we can look at the cooler shades. HBIC. A little tighter, but it has more sparkle. Or it has a little, is a little drier than Tantalize, because Tantalize is a, a truer metallic without the extra sparkles but look at that that has really nice dazzle and even with the finger the edges blend pretty seamlessly although i would always insist on going back with the brush on the very top of the edges of the crease to blur the edges out so they don't look as abrupt but well, that is a lovely shade. Lovely shade. And I think sand, something. Let's see. We could take a look at this for inner corner. Ooh, that's nice. This is. 
Stop hearing the mic, Alicia. This is more of a champagne hue as opposed to like the heavy duty yellow gold shade from Soleil. Okay. Across the lower lash line, though. Well, we could go in with Glisten. But I think I want to use, I'll use a smaller brush for this because Glisten, just by the looks of it, reminds me of HBIC's texture, which has the sparklies in there. But it looks so pretty under the lash line because it's more of like a charcoal look. And I think beautiful, if you wanted to go cooler, you could go in Topless, Shady, and Glisten for like that nightlife vibe of things right if you wanted to take it real smoky in fact let's take shady see what happens oh okay coming in strong i'm putting it on the outer part of my lash line so we could create a little more smokey smoke there All right. Woo. This is pretty. I like what's happening. I'm going to keep it simple and just apply some mascara. I can I could apply lashes. Should I apply lashes? It'll be quick. Maybe I shouldn't have curled them, but <laughs> you moron, you moron, Alicia, you know stupid. Uh, so I did a haul with Yes Style again, but I bought mostly makeup. This heroin make long, long and curl mascara. It's actually quite nice. Quite nice. It's my go-to. What? Excuse me. I don't know what's coming. Ugh. One, my go-to like one and done mascara if I don't want a lot of mascara. Meaning if I don't want Dark Star, like if Dark Star is doing a little too much for just, if I didn't have any eyeshadow on at all and I just hypothetically put on glowish tint, Lisa Eldridge blush and highlight, then and a little mascara. Sarah, I'm so happy you're able to make it. Hey, shoe lady. These are chandelier lashes, Lady Grace. My go-to's. Lash number two. I know Supreme Bronze is nothing we have ever seen. Like, we've seen these shades. And I was, as I like to do, talk to myself <laughs> in my head. I think we'll encounter this always, right? When we have new brands coming up, Artist Contour being Mac Daddy's brand, everyone's going to have their own version of a nude palette, a warm palette, a colorful palette, right? It's only a matter of time that it's inevitable that we'll see repeats of things, right? So it's up to us to choose when to say no and say, okay, you know what? I'm feeling that. I do think, and this is a first impressions of Supreme Bronze. I haven't hopped into it until today on this video, on this live. And I think Mac Daddy did a great job in covering a nice spectrum of what bronze is. 
I think this is kind of what people wanted the Natasha bronze palette to do. Like she went a little more artistic with it in terms of like, you know, bronze metals being several colors, right? You have greenish bronze, you have whatever. This is more of a literal sense of like what bronze is, I guess, in the makeup world. With that said, he included like the warmer, or this one, the warmer, like golden hue for bronze. And he also included what it will be for a cooler type of a bronze, right? Okay. And then, of course, with the Patrick Ta which I really like too, is more monochromatic, but the shine, the shiny, 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 shiny shadows in there, so articulate, I think are outstanding and they're pretty easy to apply. So much horn honking, my gosh. Relax, relax, it's okay. You're gonna go in a minute. Jeez. All right. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Wait a minute. What color did I? I brought Spirited Away. Perfect. I know it's a little... Actually, it's fine with this look. I also brought a fair in the gloss embrace. Mm-hmm. Yes, Venus. The loose the luxuriously lucent lipsticks. Amazing texture. Amazing texture. Here is a wider shot of the makeup. Supreme Nude, or excuse me, Supreme. Again, I bought this at Sephora, okay? I just used it just now. Just used it. I do have a Koyudo Red Squirrel brush. That's still in the box, actually. <laughs> I haven't taken it out yet. Oh, emergency vehicle coming through. Go ahead, friend. Make it happen. Noodle Pete, thank you. Affair, and, and I bought a backup of Affair. I have two Affairs. That sounds so funny. Because the, the color, I feel, just brings in a little more brown if you need that to happen because of the eyes, right? Spirited Away has... As Lisa described, it pulls from red, pink, and brown. But if I wanted it to read more brown, then the tone in Affair will make that happen. Thank you. You know what I've been doing? I've been trying to keep my hands off of it. Who would have thunk? Incredible. When you just stop picking your face, what that can do alone and helping it heal and just look better overall. My gosh. We still, oh my gosh, fam, I, I think I need to do an update on the cream blushes. Since my last cream blush ball video, the Lisa Eldridge has come in. There is something else. I forgot. Oh my God. Oh, the, the uh, makeup by Mario. I feel like I got to do an update on that. I have to finish the Wayne Goss video. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Flesh 7. Do I have Flesh 7? Yes, I do. Yep. Flesh 7 is beautiful. In comparison to Luxuriously Lucent, I think the Divinals from Pat McGrath have a little more shine. But the consistency, I feel smoother on the Lisa because it doesn't have as much shine. I 
inevitably, if you will include more shine in a formula, it's going to have a little more tack to it. Divinyl's still smooth, but I think that's the primary difference. I hope this video helped, fam. We did all the brushes, the makeup. If you haven't seen Makeup by Mario or I don't know if I'll, I'll still probably do a dedicated video about it. We'll see. I still have to finish, I have to finish my Wayne video. But I just wanted to show you those products in action. If I was never going to get to it, you could at least see them on this video. And I wanted to get into Supreme Bronze, which, again, is, is not like... This concept is new. I just think it's solidly done. This is pretty comprehensive for a bronze palette, but I appreciate how it hits the spectrum of both warm and cool bronze compared to Patrick Ta's major dimension, which is more monochromatic and it has those shiny, shiny shades. And just from, oh, sorry, just from, um, I would rather get the Supreme Bronze over the Brunette. As, as lovely as this is, I like the looks I came out with. I think the metallics have a unique tone to them. I just wish they included a deeper matte in there. Because in Supreme Bronze, you at least have... So not that Baked is the deepest, deepest brown. You still have shade to mix it with. In terms to intensif intensify the smoke. So that's Baked. See how Baked is a little rough? It's a little rough. I detected that from just how how pressed the shadow is in the pan. So big, you might need a little bit of zhuzhing, but I thought when tapped on the outer V of my eye, it had good, good blend. It does look incomplete. Brunette could have been really good. Like, it could have been really good. That's why I gave them another chance because I thought the concept was interesting. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I mean? Let me take a look at the darker brown in here. I kept the box like a moron because I just, I can't help myself. So this is the darkest shade in here. <laughs> Yeah, Baked has, well, this is what Melt does best. Melt loves the olive tone of things. So you can see that Brunette has a, an olive tone to it, but Baked is just deeper. Mm. Let's look at the Patrick Ta quickly, and I'll let you go. You're like, at least it's been 90 minutes. I know. This is the Patrick Ta. Yep. A lot. Actually, the Patrick Ta has the best watch out of all of them. Bake looks a little rough, but again, if you can get it out of the pan. I didn't think I was going to like the Patrick Ta. Well, no, that's not true. I knew I would like it. But again, we've seen the colors before. I have to say, though, what drew me in were these creams and these shiny shades, which are really nice. Like, you could get nice shine without the hassle. I thought, you know, the pickup is really nice. You could use a finger. I'd rather use a finger just because I think it better uh, stick, if you will, to adhere on the lid. It's funny. Someone was saying that 
because uh, Sydney Grace and Tintalia had their drop today. Which thank you so much for watching and for sharing your your perspective on that because I love reading what people think about shadows and and what have you because it kind of widens my opinion of things also. Someone was like, "Ooh, Pat is quaking." I'm like, "Pat ain't worried." Okay, <laughs> let's get something clear. I love indie brand shadows. Okay, Pat's textures are totally different from what Sydney Grace has. And that's not to lessen anything Sydney Grace has put out. I see the the inspiration for sure. And Christine has reviewed and graded all of Pat's palettes. So she knows, you know what I mean? The blitz texture and the actual textures are something I haven't seen Sydney Grace come out with yet. And that might be a good thing because maybe people feel more comfortable relying on their metallic formula more to get that glitz and shine versus Pat's astral shades. But the other thing is, for instance, if you were to think about Sublime. Sublime has Blitz Emerald. However, it also has Rose Dusk, Copper Tone, and the other more subdued shadows in there. Whereas Quintessence on the Horizon and Radiant Reflection are all so bold like you cannot be soft with any of those palettes which I think is the limit the limitation with it that's what I think and again that's I'm not I hope this is not sounding like a diss to Cindy Grace and Natalia this is not what that is I'm only addressing it because I know people have observed that comparison. I don't I don't compare them at all. Cindy Grace is doing their thing, Tim Talia's doing their thing, and Pat's doing her thing. Like this, can we can we appreciate everyone's effort as they as they come? <laughs> why why do we have to make people quake and and compare? It's just too exhausting. You know what I mean? It's just too exhausting. I think it's great Christine had this opportunity to collaborate with Cindy Grace so she can unleash her own inspiration, present it in her own way and fashion, and have fun with it. You know what I mean? We do not have to constantly compare her to Pat McGrath, like for crying out loud. Sorry, I got a little ranty. <laughs> uh... The shades are beautiful though, but I love the looks that I came up with, with uh, the, the collaboration, but I knew it would have been tough to just, like if you wanted something, I don't know, like of this moment, it does not exist in, those tri in that trio, which is okay. People want it all or nothing color. I think they're going to get it in this collab. I know they always, isn't it strange how it always has to be Pat that's the target? Why? I think people feel a certain way about her charging what she does. It's like, um, she's worked in fashion for years and she's a luxury brand. That's, that's it. And again, I don't think Pat's intention was to ever present her textures as the only ones being what they are in the makeup space. I do think it's unique to be the textures that they are in the luxury beauty space presented in the compact that it is. And another comment I read, which I think is valid, is great that Sydney Grace can come out with light and deep versions. It's not feasible for Natasha Denona or Pat to do the same with their makeup palettes because, first of all, Sydney Grace is made in the USA. I think a lot easier and cheaper than how it is when it's made in Italy. Italy. And also, when you look at the packaging, the packaging is cardboard. And Natasha, Natasha Denona, with the exception of some of Pat's palettes where she does the cardboard like Celestial Divinity, Natasha Denona be coming out with the magnetic palettes with the chrome lid of things like 
is not feasible for her to come out with a light and deep version in that packaging. I think she will ha- she will have to have her shadows made here in the U.S. in cardboard packaging. That's what I think has to happen if she ever decides to do a light and deep version. But again, that's Sydney Grace's thing, like, which is great. I love that they do that, but I don't think it's feasible for all brands to do so based on their just distribution and manufacturing. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Zaya. Oh. Oh, my Meg the Stallion is playing outside. Bani yadi 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 yadi. Bani yadi yadi yadi. All that to say, all that to say, makeup is so much fun. I hope we can keep it like that. I hope we can just enjoy releases for what they are, that we don't have to constantly just brew this, I don't know, like this competitive nature that happens in makeup and um, in any (laughs) freaking any field, but especially this one because... The indie fans, I feel when they have an opportunity to take a jab, they can for other luxury brands that are like trying to do it like us. And listen, if you want to take your jab, take your jab. I get it. I get it. But I don't think it's necessary to do it all the time. <laughs> like we get that you love your indie makeup. I love indie makeup. I think there are some phenomenal textures out there. Terra Moon Cosmetics, Davina. Give me glow or we don't like give me glow. I'm sorry. I forgot. Anyway, whatever brands right now that are not problematic in the indie space coming out with beautiful textures, appreciate them as they are. If Natasha and Pat coming out with something fresh, appreciate how they are. Combine them. Do whatever you want to do. Have a ball because in the end, it's all about having fun. Oh, I stay away from those Instagram comments. It's just sometimes, and this is why I don't, I don't want to get too popular because inevitably people are going to start being silly. I'm going to keep it at that. And it's just better for everyone's state of mind to not read the ignorance Exactly, Casey, which people are so inclined to do. And and I promise I'm going to let you all go. I promise we're over time. When teaching, I'll someone will say to me, I love your class. I can't stand that other class. It's like, do you have to not stand the other class? Could it just be you love coming to my class? That would have been enough. Because guess what? Someone else could be saying the same thing about my class. They can't stand my class. They like someone else's class. And that's fine too, you know, but we don't have to bring that to the conversation because I think that other person will be very hurt to know that you're comparing their class to mine. So, hey, Chai. Yes, and I think, listen, Casey, what's your Instagram? Or can you, can you shoot me an email, please? Thank you. I have it. Let me type it in the comments. Hold on. Awkward positioning for typing, but that's okay. I think I'm going to have some sushi for dinner. I'm thinking sashimi. Support local business. Go to my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my local sushi shop here in Harlem. Yes, they ain't coming in. <laughs> they ain't coming in, all right? That's it. Nah, 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 not in this house, indeed. And if they do decide to come in, I try to 
be compassionate with their point of view because to be I found it's more draining to be and I learned this because I wasn't always like this it's more draining to bite back it's hard not to because we want to be witty we want them to feel a certain way with our words I think when you return something like yeah thanks they're like oh they weren't expecting that reaction and that's why, I, and sometimes I either ignore them or I, I really try to be like, hey, are you having a bad day? What's going on? But sometimes it's just not salvageable and better left alone. But I, I, I never want to partake in an exchange that's just going to be back and forth because if a person is just out to get you and make you feel bad, that's all they're going to do and they don't care what you say. Hello, horns. They don't care. And when you immediately detect that and you know just to let it go, just walk away. Sashay away. Just sashay away. Ooh. Are we, are we all getting sushi? I love, yes, yes, lead with, con lead with kindness. It's so funny when you're like, <laughs> I think <laughs> there was a comment that said, my face and voice are annoying. I'm like, thank you so much for watching, friend. <laughs> thank you for watching and listening to my annoying face and voice. That's what I said. <laughs> because guess what? I got that engagement, all right? That's it. And thank goodness for you, friends. I am. I'm half and half. I'm an Aquarius Capricorn or Capricorn Aquarius, I guess, depending on the day. With that said, fam, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me for so long if you have. And if you have any questions about these brushes, I'm sure... Sonia will lay out the details in full on her blog, speaking about taking care of them and the brush blend, the pricing. I think she will be able, or I'm expecting that she'll confirm whether it's Monday or Tuesday when the brushes are dropping. They, again, the whole set is $225 and they will also be sold individually, ranging from $30 to $68. And I hope that this demo helped you decide not necessarily to get the whole thing, but maybe you can decide whether it'll be one or two. And I believe these are permanent. The issue is, as with Sonia G brushes, when they go out of stock, it may be a while until they come into stock again, but they won't not ever, right? These are not limited. So if you have to wait, we'll wait. If I were to just give you two, I would have to go with classic base and soft concealer. Those are my two picks. And I'm forcing myself to say that because I love each and every one of them. However, I know it's not feasible for all people to buy the whole set. If you want to just bet, buy two, one for your concealer and one for your base, alongside cheek products I really like soft concealer and classic base classic base buffing circular motion for foundation blend as well as really great cream liquid blush blend and cream contour bronzer and the soft concealer sublimely perfect for under eye as well as pinpoint liquid highlight so those would be my picks otherwise if it's in your budget yeah just get them all just get them <laughs> just get them all they all, you could use them all for something. Absolutely. All right. So I will see you all soon. Thank you everyone for coming through. I appreciate you. And I will be better about doing these lives more consistently because they are truly are a blast. And thank you fam for tuning in to my health video, my health live I did with Dr. Ben Bickman. 
that was so great. It was the first time that I did something like that. And I was worried because he is super intelligent and he travels all over the world to talk about insulin resistance. And he's a scientist, he's a professor, he's a teacher. And for the support and everyone coming through, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. Casey, email me. I'll, whether you get it from the chat or you grab it from my Instagram bio. And until then, fam, that is a wrap. so much for everything. I'll see you next time.